All right, on this very busy news day, let's get to our other breaking story at this hour. Former Michigan State President Luanna Simon has just been charged with lying to police. Let's get to Steve Garagiola. He's live in the newsroom for us tonight. Um, Steve, this is directly related to the Nasser investigation. Yeah, directly tied to Nasser and what Simon told investigators. She told police that prior to 2016, she was not aware that Larry Nasser was the subject of a criminal sexual conduct investigation back in 2014. Prosecutors now say that statement was a lie, that Simon was aware of the 2014 Nasser investigation. So Luanna Simon is charged with two felony counts and two misdemeanor counts of lying. A university spokesman says MSU will pay Simon's legal fees. Simon faces up to four years in prison if convicted. MSU interim president John Engler issued a brief statement this afternoon saying Simon is taking an immediate leave of absence without pay to focus on her legal situation. Now, she resigned as president back in January, but she has maintained status as a professor. John Manley, an attorney for some of Nasser's victims, says this sends a message to the people of Michigan and, quite frankly, to the people in the United States that no one is above the law. One of Manley's clients, a Nasser victim, Sterling Reithman, says people in power need to be accountable. It comes down to the fact of protecting children. And if you failed to do that, and if you failed to do your job, and if you put children in harm's way, you're going to pay the price. So this is a major development. Now, for Michigan State, this is the highest ranking school official to be charged. Whether this is the last of the charges remains to be seen. Kimberly Devon, back to you.